What is up guys, it's Ars over here, and I hope you enjoyed the little intro I made, nothing really special, it's really basic, but I just wanted to make it so I could share with you guys some of uh, uh, my really cool moments I, I had uh, this year through uh, my gaming uh, experience uh, with different games. I just wanted to share with you guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. So yeah, today's video is actually about Tom Clancy's The Division once again, but more specifically about improvements that could be done in the game in my opinion. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like in the comment section down below. Stay tuned and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Tom Clancy's The Division news and much more. So the first improvement I would like to see in the game is with the rogue system. The rogue system is fine but could be much better. What I mean by better is that the system is sort of broken. See, you are becoming a rogue agent every time you shoot someone. Now that is okay for let's say the first three levels, but as soon as you would reach level four or five of rogue agent, I don't think it is a great idea that every time you shoot someone, you automatically get your time extended again. There should be a system where when you're level 4, you can kill, let's say, one or two other players without seeing your time being extended and your rogue threat leveled up. Because every time you become a rogue agent, you just have to like run and run and always run and that is just not fun. Like The goal of being a rogue agent is to basically fight people you uh, intend to betray, not always run away. Also, when you're level 5 rogue, you should never see your time extended in any cases. So, because of that, every time you get shot, you're forced to run away or hide, which truly, in my opinion, just ruins the meaning of being a rogue agent. Now, the second improvement I would personally like to see in the game is a trading system. We know it is not set to be there when the game launches. Ubi already told us that they had other priorities to deal with, and that the trading isn't that much of a deal for them, a big deal for them. In my opinion, it truly is. Like, being unable to give an item or a gear to a friend that you don't use just doesn't make sense to me. I understand Ubisoft wants to avoid any situations to where high level players would trade to lower level uh, legendary gear, but there could be a level restriction. Let's say you could only trade with a player that has three levels different with differences with you. At the moment, I am forced to sometimes throw loot away because I have better, but I do know my friend could use it. I cannot also pick up my friend's loot in the dark zone when he dies, preventing me from keeping his loot and giving it back to him. Now I have to wait and protect it from other players. Moving on to the third improvement I would like to see added into the game is the fact that there isn't a lot of missions to do in the dark zone. I don't expect it to be filled with main major missions because that is the job of the non-PVP area, but I would like to see some random events being added into the dark zone. For example, there could be civilian, a civilian that wasn't able to extract from the dark zone and is now trapped in it. The player would then have to go and extract and protect that hostage from enemy AI. Talking about AI, I think their presence in the dark zone is pretty hard to notice. You never truly know where to go to find enemies and have to go in an isolated area to find some. Instead, we are forced to roam in the dark zone without truly knowing where to go or what to do, waiting on a player to become rogue. Well, these were my three personal thoughts on improvements that could be brought into the game. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to drop a like in the comment section down below. Tell me what would you add or take away in the game in the comment section. Stay tuned for more. Also, peace out.